everyone, Kelly Manzoni here. Thank you for joining me for Tuesday's class. We are going to need quite a few items. So if you have your stick mobility bundle, that would be fantastic. And if you don't have the bundle, grab a PVC pipe, wooden dowel, broom, whatever you may have. Now we need access to a ceiling or beam for today's class. And in our uh, strength and stretching work, we're really going to focus a lot on the 90-90 in shin box, which could be challenging for some. So if you have a large towel that you could fold up that you could uh, eventually possibly sit on, uh, please grab that. Or if you have um, a yoga, I uh, forget what they're called, Ooh. but you know, the, the uh, I can't remember the name. Excuse me, <laughs> but if you have anything that you could kneel on also, because we will be doing a knee down lunge variation, grab that now. And we're gonna get started with our warm up. So going into our first exercise, we're gonna focus on mobilizing through the T-spine and getting some stretch into our front line and some back extension. So we're gonna take our sticks to the inside of our arch of both feet. Hands are gonna go right in line with the sternum or slightly below, and then you're gonna hip hinge forward. While you're here, I want you to take a deep breath, inhale through the nose, exhale round, going into a nice cat stretch, and then drop the belly, stand up, slide the palms up the sticks, and then you're gonna go into a standing bridge opening up through that front line. While you're here, it's important to note that you're going to grip the seat. So I want you to squeeze your glutes so you can protect and lift out of the lower back, looking upward towards the ceiling. And then again, slide the hands down as you come through center. We're going to send our hips back. Pause here. Deep inhale. Exhale again. Round. Get a nice stretch. Release. Pause here for a moment, and then coming up out of the hip hinge, hands come up, and we open out into our standing bridge once again. One more time, ease into it, sending the hips back. Knees are gonna go right above the ankles, drop the belly, pause here. Now you're going a little bit deeper, pushing into the feet, you feel that connection. Inhale, exhale, Round, I just got a nice release through the back, that felt amazing. Drop the belly, and then slide up, and go into your bridge, maybe a little bit wider with the arms this time. Hold, and now we come to standing. Bolster, that's what it was, yoga bolster. <laughs> now we're gonna rotate, so the sticks are gonna stay at the inside of the arch, and I'm pushing just maybe 20-30% uh, into the sticks, opening a little bit from the front line, passing through center to the other side, getting a little T-spine opener, again, open standing tall, eyes are going to follow the arm that goes back, so this is my left arm, one more time on each side. Inhaling and exhaling, reach. So my hip bones are continuing to face forward, pass through center, and over to the other side. Take a moment, hip hinge one more time, and I just want you to hold here. Deep breath in and out, and then we're gonna drop the chin to the chest. Hang, push into the feet, Slowly roll up, rounding the spine, and then slide the shoulders down and back. We're going to go into a few neck knots here before we add on. So take your arms below your shoulder line, standing up nice and tall, soften a little bit into the knees, and then tuck the pelvis under so you're not in an anterior tilt. You're pretty much in your horse stance. Dropping the chin to the chest, look down and then slowly up. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Slowly through center, upward towards the ceiling, and then come neutral. 
We're going to go into a T-spine stretch. So our sticks now are going to continue to stay right between the arch of the feet. Arms right in line with the sternum. And I know the camera flips me, so this is my right hand, but I'm going to call it my left so that you could follow along. Both arms are going to cross over towards my right side. Now, hip hinging forward, the bicep is going to clear right over, or the chin, I should say, is going to clear right over the bicep. Now, this left shoulder, I'm going to dip down a little bit come back to center and now I'm going to mobilize my neck looking over to the left, looking over to the right, come up through center and we're going to repeat on the other side. So right arm come across to the left, hip hinge forward, chin clears over the bicep, gripping the ground with the feet, knees above the ankles and I'm going to dip that right shoulder down just a little bit as I look upward on a diagonal towards the ceiling come back to center, and then eyes leading the head over the right shoulder, over the left, and we're going to go one more time to the other side. Sticks to the right, hip hinge, this bottom arm is straight and close to the body, dip gently, so I'm pushing maybe about 20% into the stick, hold here. Now, maintaining that dip of the shoulder, eyes down on a diagonal, eyes upward towards the ceiling. So when we mobilize our neck, we kind of start to free up our shoulders and our T-spine and our back a little bit and through center, up and over, ease into it. So right over to the left, hinging forward, pause here, dip that right shoulder down, eyes look on that diagonal, breathing through the nose. Nice and gentle. And then slowly come up through center. So we're going to take one stick down now. And we're going to go into our bow and arrow, but we're going to add that element of the warrior three. So if anybody has uh, familiarity with yoga, you may have been in this position before. I'm going to take my right foot. It's going to face out, left foot facing you. Now, important to note, this hip, I'm not going to kind of be in a squared off lunge. I want to open my hip line towards the camera and I'm going to take my tailbone under. Everybody's mobility and flexibility is different. So I want you to find a stance that you're comfortable with and that you can maintain. So again, left foot is going to be facing forward, getting some nice length through that leg. The right is bent, knee above that ankle. And now I'm going to take my stick maybe about an inch or so out from the big toe and second toe. Left hand, thumb facing down is going to grab the top of the stick and you're going to take your bottom right hand, find the sticker and now we're going to go into that bow. So I'm going to send my left, excuse me, right arm out and pull back with the left. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this stretch, feeling that connection again through the feet. Now I'm going to lengthen my right leg without hyperextending the knee. Inhale, exhale, go into it once again. So I'm keeping that tailbone under. This right shoulder is relaxed down away from the ear. Pull back, lengthen, pause. And one more time, going into that stretch, maybe going a little bit deeper. So I'm packing this left top shoulder, feeling that engagement through the lat. Hold, slowly lengthen, release, draw it in, take a moment, roll out. Pivoting, so now that right foot is going to face forward and the left knee is bent with the foot turned out towards the window. I want you to be, again, mindful of the alignment with the pelvis, proud chest. Taking my stick, maybe about an inch or so from the big and second toe. Bottom left hand finds the sticker, top right hand, thumb facing down, and then I'm going to press out with that bottom left arm as I pull back with that top right arm. As you can see, I go a little bit deeper into the stretch. You might have to kind of wiggle your feet a little bit. Keep that tailbone under, lengthen, 
pause here for a moment. That shoulder is not upward, so we want to be mindful of the alignment with the chin here too. So your chin shouldn't be jutting forward. Hold. I can already feel that the lateral lines on my right, or actually I know it's my left, but I'm going to say it's my right, are a little bit more restricted than the other side. So as you go through class, I want you to kind of take some notes and, and find where you know your body might need a little extra attention. Hold here, looking upward towards the ceiling. Good. And then slowly lengthen, pause, draw it in, and release. Take your stick right in front, pivot on that foot, and then safely heel toe in so that you're not shocking your hips. We're going to take our stick now to the lower mid back, taking again a wider stance, and we're going to hip hinge forward. This right side is going to come across to the left, so we're going to work into T-spine in our front line. Now you only take that right stick, uh, right side over to the left where you're comfortable. So I don't want you working into any pain. While you're here, you're going to again work into those neck knots, breathing through the nose. So you're practicing diaphragmatic breathing, eyes upward towards the ceiling and then eyes down to the floor. So I could feel like I'm flossing through that front line. So many of us, you know, if we're sitting or if we're traveling and we feel restricted through our front line, this is such a great stretch. And then come through center, up and over to the other side, left to right. And again, only taking it to where you're comfortable, breathing through the nose, articulating that neck, flossing through that front line. And we're going to do one more on each side. Push into the feet. Right passes through over to the left. Maybe you go a little bit lower. And again, looking upward and downward. Nice and gentle. So unlike the slap shot where we're in a wide stance and we're going more into a lateral lunge, we're going to stay centered. Go a little bit lower. And I only have just about 10, 20% pushing down into the stick. Breathing. Perfect. Take a moment, come through center, come gently out of the hip hinge and shake it out. Now we're gonna take our second tall stick and go into a kneeling to standing for our hamstring and our hip line. What I mean by that is we're going to take our sticks, create train tracks. I've got my left leg forward and I'm going to square my right foot so it's facing forward also. So you can see me here on that diagonal. Using the palms, you're going to hip hinge, setting that tailbone back, squaring off. From here, we're going to drop down into a close knee down lunge. And then again, lengthen. Now this time I'm lifting the toes of my front left foot and then I'm going to pivot on that heel, flossing a little bit through the posterior chain, meaning I'm turning my toes inward and outward while I'm maintaining my position. Come through center, knee down, inhale, exhale, lengthen that back foot's going to flatten once again. I lift the toes. Turn out, turn in. I love this, it feels so good. Pause one more time. So it's okay if your sticks cross at the top. Inhale, exhale, flatten the foot. Now this back knee again isn't hyperextending. I'm gonna soften into the knee a little bit this time going deeper. And toes in and out. Excellent, pause, come through center. Lower the knee, slide your sticks in, drive through that back foot. If you have to wiggle your back knee back, that's okay, and come to standing. Now we're going to do this on the other side. So I have my right leg forward, my left leg back, squaring off the hip line, so take your time. What we want to be mindful of too is, right, you should be packing those shoulders down, lengthening through the spine and try not to round, right? We want to maintain that nice uh, length. 
and then soften into the knee, close knee down lunge. Inhale, exhale as we're coming out of it, that left foot is gonna reach for the floor behind. Now there's a softness to that left knee. We're lengthening the right, and again, pivot, little flossing toes out, toes in, watching that hip line so your hips shouldn't be swimming around. They're basically gonna stay right in place as you floss. Again, pause, maybe you draw back. So we're using these sticks as leverage to get deeper into the stretch. Flossing the foot, we have this one more time. Come down, length through the spine, inhale, exhale. Now I'm gonna draw back a little bit further. I'm gonna bend into my left knee, holding here. So I'm actually getting quite a nice angle stretch with that back left foot. Been doing a lot of rowing, so I could feel that. Hold for a moment, come through center, lower the knee, slide the sticks in, and then we're returning to a standing position. So we're just gonna kind of activate our hip line, wake up our core by doing uh, marching in place with our sticks. The sticks are gonna provide a little bit of feedback. And we're gonna do this for time. So I want you to take your sticks to like 11 and one o'clock. Step in, so the sticks are on the outside of the arch of your foot. And you're gonna take your palms and just kind of corkscrew the knuckles. So inward, like so. Then you're gonna pack your shoulders down and back. Immediately you should feel that connection. Breathing through the nose, or if you'd like, you could hard sail breath and breathe out through the mouth as you draw your knee up. So we're gonna push down with about 70% of our strength into the sticks. Tailbone is under, so it's not out, and start to march in place. So I have my timer going. Push down into that standing foot. Squeeze that glute. Flex your foot as you're taking the knee up. Breathe. Now, try to push into the ground with the sticks about 80, 90%. You should get a little shake. Keep going. Draw it up. I love marching variations with kettlebells or with bands. It's so fantastic. Last five count. Two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Slide the hands down. Take a moment. Now your shoulders should feel awake. And we're gonna come down to the ground to get ready for our shin box and 90-90. So this is where if you need a towel or a, a pillow, by all means, please grab it now. I'm gonna act like a mirror. So this is gonna be right leg down and we're gonna extend our left leg into a half split. So there's a little bit of ankle work here too. Foot is flat, grip in the ground, like we did earlier, we got a little bit of a stretch through that inner thigh, and now we're gonna build on it before we get into our shin box. Both sticks, one stick is gonna frame outside of the thigh, one inside. Taking the arms, a little bit in line with the sternum, slightly lower, and I'm anchoring with the ball of my back foot. I'm gonna gently hip hinge forward sending the hips back and I've got about 20% of my strength, 20, 30% pushing down into the sticks. Length through the spine so there's no straining and then slowly come up, taking that tailbone under. So if you're feeling a little bit of restriction here, take note, driving down into the sticks, inhale, exhale, send the hips back. Maybe you go a little bit lower so now I'm gonna take the top of the foot down. So again, you could dorsi flex or plantar flex, whatever you're comfortable with, and then slowly come up. We're gonna do one more and we're gonna add on to this. Okay, hip hinge forward. Go to where you can comfortably, again, maintaining that nice length through the spine. So I kind of feel almost like a little bit of a monkey hang with my upper body. And now I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna turn my toes up, drop my seat back a little bit further, come out of it, foot flatten. Drop back, toes upward towards the ceiling, come forward, 
back to that flat foot. Excellent. Pushing down into the sticks, slowly come up to start. And now we're gonna go over to the other side. So we have our right leg out, uh, spread out those toes, grip the ground. I'm gonna anchor with the ball of my left foot first, and then I'll change it up. Take those hands right in line with the sternum or slightly lower, begin to hip hinge. Notice the difference between your right and left side. Eyes down, maintaining that nice length. Inhale, exhale, slowly come up. Now, if you want, you could switch. I'm switching, I'm going top of the foot down so I could go deeper. Those of you that have knee issues, please be mindful and slowly come up. Excellent. Again, hinge, driving down, nice length. Pause here, come up, and now we're gonna add on as you send the hips back. You go a little bit lower if possible. Pivot, turn the toes upward towards the ceiling. And again, I'm not hyper extending that knee even though my right leg is straight. So we're doing a lot of flossing through the posterior chain and inner thigh, and slowly, drive up. Excellent. Take a moment. We're going to add in a bit of a strength element before we go into our shin box. Step your right foot forward. We're at a knee down lunge and I want you to take your sticks about 11 and 1 o'clock. If you want a little bit more stability, you're going to anchor with the ball of your back foot, which would be your left, or if you want more of a challenge, you're going to place top of the foot down. Take a moment, pack your shoulders, engage your lats, take that tailbone under and simply lift. Hold for five count, hold one, two, three, four, on five, we lower. We're gonna do that one more time. Notice if you start to lose the alignment, right? If your hip starts to sink to one side. Why don't you, that's why we did the marching kind of like as a precursor, getting that balance an activation, so pressing down into the sticks, you've got maybe 50%, maybe 60, and hold, one, two, three, four, five, and lower. Shake it up, and now left leg is forward, arms still maintain that length, watch your alignment with the pelvis, again, we're gonna tuck under, engage that glute, so I'm sending my right hip forward towards the camera, you could anchor or top of the foot down. I know this one's gonna be harder for me, I can already tell. If you need a wider position with your hands, you can. And right here we go. Elevate, one, two, three, four, five, and lower. Now, I noticed there that I was really kind of supporting myself with my upper body. I'm gonna to try to take it into the trunk of the body and lower half on the second one. So I want you to notice if you did the same. Find your position, tuck under. You could anchor with ball or top of the foot down and elevate one, two, three, four, five, and gently release. That one was a lot better. Now, uh, we're gonna go into our shin box before we go into the 90-90. Because I'm doing the mirror, even though it's my left leg, I'm gonna tell you it's my right leg forward. So if you need a towel, or if you have that yoga bolster, that was the word I couldn't think of earlier, you could place it right underneath your glute or near your tailbone, depending on where you feel the pull of your alignment. Now, right leg forward, left leg back. Both sticks now are gonna go right in line with our upper body, right by the hips. Take a moment. And I want you just to kind of hang out here for a second. Feel where it's uncomfortable. And if this is too challenging, you could always take one stick down, bend the elbow of the other hand, and use a hand on the floor for a bit of support. And if that's way too, uh, still too intense, both hands could come down to the floor. In your hang here now, I want you to think of thoracic extension. So we're lifting 
up and out of our hip line, proud chest to so toe into the ribs flaring, pull those ribs in, chin is neutral, and we're gonna hold for about five seconds, pushing about 50% into the floor. Ready, so activate, press down, hold, breathe, right? Tr don't work into pain, so again, be mindful, take a moment, relax, slide the hands down for a moment. Shake things out, and then we're gonna go into it, adding on. So reclaim a little bit of that monkey hang. Notice your alignment first. You're pushing down into the sticks, you're maintaining your breath, and then gently take the chest forward just a little bit. So I don't want you popping off of your uh, right seat. Hold. Come upright. Push down again 50% into the sticks. And now slightly open towards your left. Coming through center. And now slightly towards your right. Coming back through center, pause here. We're gonna hold five more seconds. Push down 50%, hold one, hold two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now you can work up to a minute in that position. Feels so good. Now, take a moment, everything's awake. Use your hands and just shift from side to side, work it out for a moment. Now, if you have sensitive knees, you need to take a second, shake out those legs before we transition to the other side. Our left leg is forward, so the left is to the outside of the right thigh. Taking our sticks right near our hip line, just like we did on the other side. Sitting nice and tall, lifting out of our sit bones, and take some notes if one side is a little bit uh, more comfortable or uncomfortable than the other. Close that rib cage, chin is neutral, and we're gonna push down into the ground using again about 50% of our strength. So press down, hold five counts, hold one, two, three, four. On five, take a moment, relax. Slide the hands down, roll out through the shoulders. Taking it back up, now we're gonna add a little bit more intensity by hinging slightly forward. If that is uncomfortable, you could simply stay upright. And again, if you need your bolster or your towel, please use it. Push down into the floor, 50%. Don't worry about how far you go. Don't compromise your form. Simply hinge, pause. So I'm actively pressing down with the left and inside of the right thigh. Come up, slightly angle to the right, just a little bit. And I'm still pushing down into the sticks, but the intensity is a little lower. It's probably about 20%. And now to the left. Coming up through center, let's hold five more counts. Hold one, hold two, hold three, four, on five, take a moment, release, slide the hands down, place both of your long sticks now to the side, hands to the floor, and just work it out. So everything should be feeling nice and awake. Now we're going to progress to our 90-90. If you, again, need your bolster, by all means, please use it. Right leg is going to be forward, left leg is back. Short stick this time. So my front right foot is flexed, and the ankle is in line with the knee. My back left leg, knee in line with the ankle, foot is flexed, and then I'm gonna take my hands to the hip line, you could follow me too, and rotate that forward. I feel a bit of my glute fire, and I'm comfortable in this position. If you are uncomfortable in this position and you find that you're leaning, you're gonna take your short stick and take it out to your side on a diagonal where you feel comfortable and simply hold. 
When we go into rotation, you could just rotate with the body rather than using the push-pull technique that we're going to do in a moment. So taking your short stick right at chest height, we're going to keep those feet flexed, sit tall, lift out of the hips, neck is relaxed. So after all those monkey hangs, you should feel like you're nice and supported and woke up through the upper body. Pull apart on the stick and then rotate to the left. Push into the stick, rotate through center. Excellent. Pull apart, rotate to your left, push into the stick, come back through center. Now pull apart, arms up, chin neutral, good. Come forward, push into the stick, rotate, keep pushing into the stick, pause here, pull apart, and only lift to where you're comfortable. This one's a lot harder. So again, just be mindful, push into the stick as you lower, come back through center. This is our last part. So again, if you need to, simply take the stick to the side, use your hands as a guide on the floor, uh, pulling apart, stick up, and then gentle hinge forward. I'm lifting the belly, length through the back, chin is neutral, no tension in the neck, and then come up, take the stick to the chest, and gently lower. So that could be quite intense. <clears throat> Use your hands and just kind of floss and switch sides gently. Good. You should feel pretty good after this class. <laughs> your hips are definitely gonna be away. So uh, now we have left leg in front, foot flex, ankle in line with the knee, right leg, knee, ankle, and then take your hands to your hip line, square off, and if you need the support, simply take your stick to the side. And again, as we add the rotation, you could just um, hip one hand free, you could also take your hand to the floor or both hands to the floor. We're going at chest height. So standing, sitting tall, pull apart on the stick, open to the right, push into the stick, come back through center. Good. Pull apart, sitting tall. Right? I mean, so notice I'm not leaning away from the stick. Push. As we come back through center, now pull apart. Just to where you're comfortable, no rib flare, chin is neutral. We're really adding some strength into our 90-90, especially time under tension, pushing into the stick. Come through, open to the right, pull apart. The side's a little bit more sticky than my other side, I can feel that. Push into the stick. Pull apart. Let's do that one more time. So push, pause, pull apart, stay connected, push into the stick, come through center, take a moment, lower the arms. We're going to add that forward hinge. So again, check your posture, check your alignment. If you need to modify, please modify. We're taking our stick, shoulder height pull apart, or chest height, excuse me, pull apart, up overhead, watch the alignment, hinge for just a few inches, breathe, stay with it, excellent, and then slowly come up, take the stick to the chest as you lower, and release, gentle rock from side to side. Now, Last portion, we're going to come to standing and go into just a few dumpy squats after we've worked the hips for quite a few minutes. And this feels great. I'm going to anchor to the top of my ceiling, stepping in, toes are going to be slightly turned out. And again, everybody's mobility, flexibility, uh, and, and structure is just different. I want you to really connect throughout the entire squat. 
We're going to go slow. So simply four dumb face squats on a four count. Four counts, we're going to pull ourselves to the earth. Four counts, pressing away from the ground. And we'll switch hands on the third. So I have my right hand on top, left hand on the bottom. Chin is going to stay neutral. I'm pushing up with about 70% of my strength. And I'm going to go down one. Elbows come in two, three. Watch the alignment with the pelvis. Four, let's hold four count. Hold one, two, three. Now on four, coming up one, two, push, three, four. Good. Two more with the right hand on top. Down one. Drive up two. Drive up three, four. Hold. Four count. One, two. Hips are alive. Three, four. Up. One, two. Feel that core. Three, four. Good. Shake it out for a second. Then left hand on top. Stick to the ceiling. Left hand on top. Now again, connection to the feet is critical. Watch your alignment with your pelvis, so no butt wake. We're gonna push up into the stick, drive one, two, three, four, pause, four, one. I'm still pushing, two, three, four, up one, two, three, four, excellent. Last one, push, one, really work for it, two, stay connected, three, hold on, four, one. Two, push up, three, four, up, one, up, two, three, four. Excellent. Take a moment, shake it out, grab a sip of water if you need it. We're going to stretch out. Going into our slap shot, single stick. So let me just slide the stick out. Make sure you have space. We're going to go nice and wide stick is to the back. Now I'm going to hip hinge forward without hyperextending knees. This right side is going to come across towards the left to wherever it can comfortably. Now I'm going to bend into this right knee and I'm going to wiggle out just a little bit because I want to go deeper. Grip the ground, look upwards towards the ceiling, hold here. Stay with it. Three more counts. Hold one. Hold two. Hold three. Push into the stick, into the ground. Come through center. Release the right. Take a moment. Come up to standing. And now we're going to go to the other side. Simply hip hinge forward. This left side is going to come across to the right where you can comfortably. And now I'm going to bend deeply into that left knee. So our stretch that we did earlier when we were in that warrior pose, we've done a lot with kind of working our ankles, gripping the ground with the feet. Come up. One more on each side. Again, hip hinge, knee soft. Right goes over to the left and bend, lean. I'm feeling that great opening through my front line. Excellent. So I'm not falling forward into this knee, right? I got to anchor with that flat foot, open up through the upper body, slowly shift, come to stand, tailbone under, then again we hip hinge forward, take it across, Bend deep into that left knee. Sending again, body weight back, chest open, hold. Three count, hold one, two, three. Come back through center, slowly come up. And now we're gonna heel toe in gently. Staple favorite is definitely bow and arrow. And I know like when we floss, that's typically a part of our active stretching, but I wanted to work into flossing our hips after we have done all that work with the shin box in 9090. And I want you to see if you feel a little bit freer through the fascia in your hip line, lateral lines. 
So we're going to take our stick to the right side. It's going to be about three inches out from the mid arch. Left hand, thumb is going to face down. Right hand is going to find that sticker. Before you start to push out with the arms, I want you to take your tailbone under and think of sending the hips out to your right first. So hips first, then arms. Pull back with that top arm, kind of pack that shoulder a little bit, engage that lat. Now what I mean by flossing is this left hip, I'm gonna simply internally rotate and then externally rotate. Internally rotate as I look upward towards the ceiling. I'm gonna hold there for a moment. Externally. Keeping that bow. Watch that bottom arm, right? Shoulders down. Internally rotate. This feels amazing. Hold. Externally rotate. Take the tailbone under now. Good. Chin neutral. Close that rib cage. Keep pulling back with that tarp on, pressing out. And then bend, slowly come out of it. Good. And then before we go to the other side, just move around a little bit. Taking it to now our left, stick about three inches out through the midline of your left foot. Right hand, thumb is down. Left, hips go first. Hips first, arms second. Relax that bottom shoulder. Now I'm pulling back, right? I'm squeezing through the glutes. I have to go out a little bit wider, I noticed. And now, again, I'm gonna internally rotate with that right hip, external. Good. Internal, external. Excellent. One more. This side feels a little bit sticky in comparison to the other. Good, now holding here, press out, look upward towards the ceiling, chin is neutral, pause, and then slowly start to come out of your stretch. Excellent. So take a second, roll it out. Last stretch, we're gonna work into our hamstrings once again. Your choice, if you wanna do two sticks or one stick, I'm gonna grab my second stick and go on a diagonal here taking my right foot back i'm going to take my left foot staggered so it's the forward leg right leg is back and we're going to go from standing palms train tracks and hinge forward keeping that back foot connected now, I feel a drastic difference from the start of class to the end of class. I'm packing my shoulders, maintaining that nice length through the spine, and then I'm going to flatten the foot, maybe go a little bit lower, and now lift the toes. Good. So hips aren't swimming. You're maintaining that alignment, so you shouldn't be shifting heavily to one side. Flatten the foot. Go maybe a little bit deeper. I'm not hyperextending that left knee. And then to come out of it, take one hand in, followed by the other. I was a bit low. Bend and come up to stand. Good. Let's switch. Train track, single or double. Square off. Find that alignment. Come down gently. I find that if I flex my palms, that really helps with maintaining the length through the back. And I notice sometimes too, uh, it depends on what side, I'll sink the hip. So again, I wanna stay nice and lifted, find that alignment, flex, glide down, inhale, exhale. I'm only pushing with my upper body about 20% down into the sticks. And then flat foot, maybe you go a little bit lower, but not compromising your form. Again, this back foot, even though I'm anchored with it, I'm not hyperextending that knee. Flex. Keeping this time centered so we're not flossing like we did uh, previously. Flat. Maybe go a little bit lower. Breathing. And flex. Almost there. Hold. 
place the foot down, take the hands in, and slide up. So that was today's class. Uh, feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'm at kelsbells88 on Instagram. And make sure to check out the Stick Mobility YouTube channel. So not only do they have tutorials, but the classes are later uploaded later in the day to their channel. And they also have their awesome podcast, uh, Movement Made Better, where they have fantastic guests talking about everything movement. So I will see you next Tuesday. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Bye!